Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Oh Judy. This week, we'll be covering some essential information on the growing topic of identity theft. For those of you who don't know what identity theft is, it can be described as the act of acquiring personal information to give people access to your bank account, credit card information, and more. We have a special guest here today, and she was a victim of identity theft. Please welcome Cami Soy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Cammie. It's nice to have you here today. So, can you please tell us what happened with your experience with identity theft? Well, it was very horrible. It all started when I was in my second year of college and I had this new roommate who came to live with me a few weeks after. start to do everything together. Even though we became really close friends, things started to get really suspicious. The first warning I saw was that I started to notice errors in my credit card and bank reports. Restatement. Wait. I don't go to high school. And who's Haley? This fee statement is all wrong. The second warning sign I noticed was that I couldn't access my email and that my mail was being received by someone else. Cami soybeans at hotmail.com password tofu not for you. It's not working. I got a new email. I never opened a new credit account. The final warning that got me was that I received calls asking me about problems I never even knew about. Hello? Uh, hello? This is Kami Soy. Yeah? Well, I'm calling from MasterCard, and I'm calling to inform you that your card has been maxed out. Hi. Um, uh, let me look at this. It says that you've been buying a bunch of cat collector's items. Is this true? I haven't been buying any cat collector's items. Oh, well, it says here from this company is that you've been buying from their stores with this credit card number. Um, you might want to contact them about this. But I haven't bought anything. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to talk to with the people that you bought with. Okay. Okay, sorry. Have a good day. What? That's when I knew something was wrong. It turns out that the next day I got a call asking to bail Cresselia out of jail. Um, this is the Vancouver Police Department. We are calling to inform you about your roommate, Chrysalia Pong. She is currently being held in our custody for identity theft. We have been informed by Chrysalia that you are her emergency contact and we would like to request for your presence. What? 
Um, well, this is our address, and we would like you to be here within 45 minutes or so. It's uh, 12345 King Street. What? Thank, thank you. Bye. Oh my god. Yeah, come on in. Hi, I'm Kami Soy. I'm Constable Wick. So what happened with Priscilla? Well, here's what happened. We've been tracking her for quite a long time, and uh, she's been living under the name of Priscilla Pong, but her real name is Cuckoo Ning. She's involved in many cases where she's stolen information about her roommates and opening accounts to purchase lavishing cat items. What the f- Whoa. Yeah, I know, but I learned my lesson. Now I'm a part of the anti-identity theft advocate group that helps prevent people from being identity thefted. Thank you very much for your time today. It's nice You're to welcome. have you here. I hope we've all learned a great lesson from this. Thank you. Every minute of every day, there are 19 new victims of identity theft. The knowledge of protection and prevention is surprisingly low. Hopefully, we can all learn from this and take this into account in our own lives and prevent this awful event from ever happening to us. And that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Oh Judy. Thank you for watching. Remember how we used to party up all night? Sneaking out and looking for a taste of real life. Drinking in a small town fire.